All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Now, we have something very interesting that's sort of kind of flying under the radar right now. Not a lot of people are talking about it. And we actually did just get a little bit of an update here in the news section. But, uh, we, so this, it, it was in the celebration info, right? Like with the hit event and stuff like that, that uh, this Gohan right here, which I believe is right here, this guy is going to get a Dokkan Awakening. Uh, he awakens from this rare Gohan that you can farm up in the event, uh, and this guy is actually going to get a Dokkan Awakening. Now, this has recently happened uh, with the Bardock story event. We're going to go into a lot of info here, because I think there's a reasonable chance that we could get a new banner with characters from the BoJack movie. Now, I mean, it could be a Dokkan Fest exclusive banner, maybe a Transforming Gohan, or perhaps a Dokkan Fest exclusive Bojack. It, it's it's feasible, it's possible, but I mean, I, I think there is going to be some sort of banner dropping. It, it's just what exactly, what type of banner is this going to be? You know, we'll, we'll see. So, uh, this guy is going to get a Dokkan Awakening. Uh, this is just the AGL uh, Dokkan, like uh, Bojack that already awakens. That's not a big deal. So, the whole BoJack event is going to get an entire revamp, right? So, like, it'll have new stages, new stones to drop. The old event will be completely, you know, basically thrown away. Um, there will be, uh, you know, increased drop rate for the, you know, uh, hybrid Saiyan category. So, that'll be good. You know, there's a lot of LRs on the hybrid Saiyan category. So, it'll be very easy to get whatever drops are going to be in this event, right? That's not going to be very difficult. And then, here you go. You know, there's going to be new stones to farm up and everything. Uh, the other thing it does mention is that this Gohan right here will be discontinued. Uh, you will not be able to get this Damn, even as a rare, his 12 multiplier was 150%. That's crazy. Uh, this card right here will be unobtainable. Uh, so, you know, if you're on JP and you want a copy of this guy right here, uh, the only way you could do it, like if you hop into the keys section and grab a copy of him right now, that's the only thing you could do because he will be discontinued. He will be removed from the game, essentially. You won't be able to get him anymore. Uh, and instead, the drop will now just be this SR Gohan. Again, uh, this happened with Bardock. Here, let me actually go ahead. That's the one thing I did not pre-prepare. I didn't bring up that Bardock. But it's exactly the same thing that happened with this Bardock down here. So, originally, uh, from the Bardock story event, uh, it was just a rare Bardock that dropped. I remember the nightmare. I did a video, y'all could go watch, where I farmed up like 500 of these guys and fed them into LR Bardock to raise his super attack level. Uh, that's another actual instance of Global uh, getting like a more advan advantageous situation than JP because, you know, when LR Bardock came out for JP, we only had this rare Bardock basically to feed in. Then when the story event got a revamp, uh, this guy did not drop anymore, but if you had him, you could Dokkan Awaken him into the SR Bardock, and then now it's the SR Bardock is the droppable card right here, and then, you know, it was good for global, global players knew this, so you could farm up LR Bardock a lot easier on global than we were able to over on JP, right, and then not only could, is this guy the, like, droppable card now, but he also does further Dokkan Awaken into this guy right here, uh, you know, a farmable Bardock Great Ape. So they made not only Bardock cards, base form Bardock cards farmable, but also the Great Ape Bardock card is also farmable thanks to this guy right here. So, you know, I, I thought that was pretty interesting uh, that they did that, right? You know, they, they kind of, you know, revamp that card, turn that card that was just an R into a very decent card. Now, I'm expecting this Gohan is probably going to be very decent, uh, especially because he's going to be usable for prime battles and such like that. I'm thinking I might put some orbs into some of these units, like that Bardock we just looked at. I might actually rainbow him, you know, potential to use, like, on a pure Saiyan, uh, like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a pure Saiyan, like, free-to-play team, like, you know, options like that might be interesting. So this Gohan could be very, very useful in the future. Now, again, this sort of revamp of a story event has happened a couple of times lately, so this is good. They're sort of like cleaning up 
all the mistakes of early Dokkan, they're sort of cleaning up. Uh, they're getting, like, better representation for these movies in Dokkan, which is also good. So, like, here's the original Bardock event, right? Very trash event. Like, look at this. No stones from Stage 1. We got some stones from Stage 2. No stones from Stage 3. Like, you guys see, it, it's just, it's a nightmare. Like, these stages are like labyrinths. Like, you have to move, like, you know, 50 spots on each of these stages. Just a nightmare. Horrible drop rates. Barely any rewards. Well... They updated the event. You know, they, they got the new Bardock in there. All of these give stones. Uh, there's also the increased drop rates. I believe the giant category. Yeah, uh, giant category gives extra drop rates here. You know, you can farm up Frieza. You can farm up Chill. You can farm up Kid Vegeta. So many different farmable units and stuff like that. Metals, all this types of good stuff. Now, the other thing that happened with this story event. Now, this is kind of the big point of this video that I'm making here is that a lot of units got Dokkan Awakenings with this revamped story event right here. Look at uh, Great Ape Borgos, uh, Great Ape Shugesh, Great Ape Tora. Great Ape Tora, by the way, is what I would consider a top tier unit in the game. Uh, with, you know, all three key, 30% attack. He recovers health, giant transformation, lowers attack, good links. This is a very, very good unit. So I think we could potentially see something like this happen with this Bojack story event where it's not only going to be this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, there's going to be other new cards as well. This is going to be very interesting. And then, of course, same thing. Like, Global literally just got this. The old Metal Cooler event, horrible. An R robot card. Ba these sages barely drop stones. A million of these SR Metal Coolers, right? Kind of a bad event. Well, they updated it. They gave us a new event, tons of stones. They gave us a new SSR robot, new SSR metal cooler. Then all of the SR metal coolers, all Dokkan Awaken. I just did a rainbow for the Int metal cooler, uh, rainbow video for the Int metal cooler last night. Uh, and then, of course, we also have the metals to awaken all of them. So, you know, a lot of really interesting things sort of happening where these events get completely discarded and then brought back new with, like, new units, possibly new banners and stuff like that. And then it also happened, they used to have this old-ass uh, Raditz event, and then also this Vegeta and Nap event. Like, look how bad these events are. Like, right here, you know, you could only get these cards a total of six times, you know, just the dr initial drop rates. No stones from the event. Well, they combined those two and then created, like, an actual Saiyan Saga story event. Uh, they have since done, like, sort of the first half of the adventure on Namek, but... Uh, there needs to be, like, a Frieza Saga story event. Uh, and then they still have not done anything for, like, the Android arc. Uh, I think, you know, the Garlic Jr. arc should be represented. Uh, you know, then also, you know, the Cell arc, the Boo arc. Like, a lot of story events still have not happened on Dokkan. So, we got a lot of stuff still left to go here. Uh, and, you know, again, like, a bunch of new farmable cards. These old cards awakened. Uh, new medals. All types of stuff in this event. So, you know, I I'm expecting some good stuff with this event to come. Now, this is also a big point I want to make. So, uh, with the Saiyan event, I didn't go back and grab the banner, but there was a Great Ape banner that came out along with it, right? I believe, was that the introduction of the Great Ape cards? I think so, with that Saiyan uh, Saga event. And, you know, this, uh, that, you know, Great Ape banner dropped. Uh, this banner... Uh, this dropped with that Bardock event. Now, it worked a little differently on Global, but, w like, let's, for now, we're just, we're, we're talking about JP since, you know, that's when this BoJack event is going to drop, right? For Global, this banner, like, I don't think dropped at the Bardock story event, because I believe this banner was more so for when they upgraded the Great Apes and made them able to use the potential system when they were transformed. But for JP, this dropped with that Bardock story event, you know, along with the Tora, Borgos, and Shugesh, who Dokkan Awakened, well, they were here on a double raids banner. I'm just noticing, hold on, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they get, this had 10 featured SSRs, that's not great, but it is a double raids banner, so it's not that bad. Uh, so, I, I think we could potentially see... Uh, some old units, Dokkan Awaken, like, I don't know, like, are, are they gonna take, like, a random SR Piccolo, Dokkan Awaken it, and consider it from the BoJack movie, or what, but, like, if you go into the movie hero category right here, like, from the BoJack movie itself, you don't have a lot of movie heroes in here, right? Like, we do have, hold on, uh, so this is, this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan right here, right? So this is the only version of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the BoJack movie. And he's like, he's a, he's an okay uh, support type unit right now. 
So, like, I, they there's a spot for them to give us, like, a, Do, a Dokkan event version of this character or a transforming version of this character. Something like that. This was a very hyped character. The Bojack movie is one of my favorites for how the ending goes when Gohan takes Bojack down. Like, when Gohan goes into a Super Saiyan 2 transformation, like, it, it's just it's just really, really hype. So, I, you know, I, like, I would love if you know, they're going to drop a Dokkan Fest exclusive banner along with the story event revamp. Because I, I forgot to mention it, but with the cooler story event revamp, obviously the, uh, you know, AGL Metal Cooler Dokkan Fest banner dropped. So all of these story events have all had banners drop. So there's going to be a banner dropping. It's just, is it going to be a double raids? Like, you know, what exactly are we going to get here? Uh, so, you know, we looked at the movie hero category. Again, there's not really characters from the Bojack movie, like, pretty much in Dokkan, like, I, there's that Gohan, but, like, I can't think of any others, like, looking at this, like, you know, none of these characters, you know, that Gohan is, but, like, most of these characters are not actually even from the Bojack movie, and, like, you know, most of the Z fighters appear in there, they could potentially bring in a new Angel Goku, uh, you know, we could have a new Piccolo, a new Super Saiyan Vegeta, like, I mean, Trunks, I, I think best case scenario for this even more so than, like, a Dokkan Fest exclusive Gohan, which will eventually come no matter what, so that's not really too much of a concern. Or a Bojack, who I do think will also get a Dokkan Fest exclusive event at some point. But Trunks, from the Bojack movie, where he's got kind of, like, the jacket, but it's kind of, like, ripped up and stuff, that's, like, the best look for Trunks ever. Like, Trunks is, like, badass in the, in the Bojack movie. Like, that's him returning from the future after liberating it and, you know, defeating the androids. And then, you know, he came back to tell everyone, <clears throat> and then he, you know, participated in that tournament. So, like, if they gave us a summonable version of that Trunks, hello, that is exactly what we need from this. Or, you know, even, like, a farmable version, uh, a Piccolo, a Krillin, different cards they could give us from, you know, for the movie hero category. Again, if we go to Gohan down here, here, of course, is the discontinued, you know, base form Gohan. Uh, then, of course, you know, you look at Super Saiyan, just an SR, and then only the AGL one down here. So, you know, even Gohan from that movie as the main mo hero of the movie is not really represented well. So we could see something new for him. Now, Bojack in particular, I, I, I feel like we're probably not going to get a new Bojack card unless it's a Dokkan Fest event for Bojack. Because they could give us a full power Bojack Dokkan Fest exclusive, right? Maybe like a, a physical one or a tech one, I think would work really, really well. Because uh, we've already got the LR, you know, who is fu uh, full power Bojack plus the Galactic Warriors. So if they gave us a Dokkan Fest exclusive uh, full power Bojack, uh, he'd be a linking partner with LR Bojack. And that would be absurd. That would be so, so good. Uh, then we also have, you know, this physical... Uh, Bojack right now is global exclusive. Uh, he's a world tournament award. He will eventually come to JP. But, I mean, really, we could use a TUR normal Bojack as well. So, you know, we'll see if maybe they... Uh, oh, they could awaken this guy. Yeah, they could. Uh, this guy you can get from the Baba Shop. I, I, I would think, you know, they could easily go ahead and awaken him. Uh, you know, give him a Dokkan Awakening. I mean, he's not horrible, and considering how Dokkan Awakenings look nowadays, you know, this guy could very well get 100% attack up on Super Attack, which would be quite good for a free-to-play unit. You know, he could be very, very useful. So, there's definitely some interesting things uh, that could possibly come. What is this? Oh, this is just when I was pulling up the events and stuff. Uh, and then the last thing I want to point out is, like, the actual other, like, members of BoJack's team... Right, so like Bido and Bujin, we only have rares. Uh, Gokua and Zangia both have uh, SSRs. This Gokua card is actually sort of decent. Uh, like obviously, you know, now time has gone on. You know, he's you know <laughs> basically uh, closing in on two years old, so he's not as good as he was when he first dropped. But you know, he's a solid enough card, and you know, he he is technically a summonable SR, so he has like normal 5,000 the stats for his potential system. He's decent. This Gokua is actually a quite a decent card, uh, and this Zangia got her Dokkan Awakening. I mean, she's nothing too crazy. I mean, 10% HP at the start of every turn. That's good. I mean, she is on Peppy Gals, but like, you know, we could potentially see new cards for the rest of the Hera clan, maybe good versions of them. I think that could be cool, you know, for the revived warrior team, you know, for, um, well, Zangia could be potentially good for Peppy Gals, but they're also on the time traveler team. So, you know, some more of these characters could be very good. So, 
Let me know what you guys think we'll see. Uh, you know, there's many possibilities. Again, they could release a couple of new banner units on some banner because they've not released, like, a, a normal banner, one that would have the blue coins in, like, forever that's had new units on it, right? The last one, like, I, I could remember Kefla and the Turn of Power Fighters were released on a banner like that. But, I mean, like, all new units nowadays are either on, like, LR banners or they're released on Dokkan Fest exclusive banners. Like, I, I'm, I'm seriously struggling to remember the last banner that had new characters on it that was just, like, a regular banner. The last one that comes to mind is Kefla. I mean, I, there's definitely an obvious one I'm missing. I mean, I can't think of right now. But I could see, like, a regular banner come out. You know, maybe a new Trunks. Maybe some new versions of these characters. I don't know. Maybe an SSR Krillin could be cool. Again, we could get a Bojack Dokkan Fest event or a Gohan Dokkan Fest event. Uh, now, one thing, though, to remember is that Golden Week is going to happen at the end of this month. There will, for sure be a Dokkan Fest exclusive at the end of this month. So if they try, they already have three Dokkan Fest exclusives basically in March. Uh, like, well, okay, I guess Hit. Hit was kind of like on April 1st. So I guess Hit is, you know, so there was two Dokkan Fest exclusives in March for JP and there's already been one in April. I mean, if, if they drop like a Gohan or Bojack Dokkan Fest right now, then that means we would get three Dokkan Fests in April, which would be wild. So we would have five Dokkan Fest exclusives in two months. I mean, at that point, it's like, okay, well, now there's all the content that Global needs to stretch out to its anniversary because now all of a sudden Global is like six Dokkan Fest exclusives behind or something. Like, it's crazy. So, you know, we'll see what they do. Uh, I'm excited for at least the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and to see what else that there's going to be. But, you know, it does look like we have some possibility for some interesting new cards. So uh, let me know what you guys think we'll get. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.